Welcome back everyone to the next portion of our Shopify tutorial. Once again, my name is Angelo from Cosmos Inc. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you all will be notified every time I post new content. After that, be sure to join our Facebook group, Sublimation Cove, where we cover the topic of sublimation. So if you want to know more about that process, hit that link down below in the description as well. And last but not least, we are the owners of Cosmos Inc. So if you need any type of sublimation ink or pigment ink for your business, hit that link down below too so in this video we are going to be covering the legal section of the settings menu uh, within our Shopify website so in order to do that you of course come down here to the settings menu and then come over here to legal you'll click on that and this is going to cover your legal pages which are pretty much going to be your refund policy your privacy policy your terms of service and your shipping policy and it says right over here, legal pages, you can create your own legal pages or create them from templates and customize them. These templates aren't legal advice and need to be customized for your store. Your saved policies will be linked in the footer of your checkout. You may need to add your policies to menus in your online store. By using these templates, you agree that you've read and agreed to the disclaimer. So. The very first thing I always recommend doing is if you don't have a refund policy or privacy policy or term service or anything like that, just go ahead and walk through these step by step. So for this one, you can just hit create from template right here and it'll just put your email address that you have, you know, it'll put that in there and then you can just go through this and decide if you want to, you know, change anything. So it says we have a 30 day return policy. Uh, which means you have 30 days after receiving your item to request a return. Um, you can change this to no days. Honestly, like you can change this to zero. So we have you know a zero return policy on custom made items. Um, if you're doing an item that's not custom made, you know you can specify however long you know you want your uh, return policy to be. And then even down here, you can edit your email address. This whole thing. You can be able to edit it almost any way you want to to cater it towards your business. So I recommend you sit down, read through each and everything, and then as your business grows, you're going to know what rules you need to add in place. Starting off, you will not know every single thing you need to add in place. And please don't think that you can just go to somebody else and just copy what they're doing and put it on here because every situation is different. All right? I promise you that every situation is different so you need to cater uh all of your policies to be honest to what fits your business all right not somebody else's to what fits your business so after you do uh, the uh, refund policy let's go down to the next one the privacy policy click on create template and the same thing is going to create a template it's going to add you know stuff in here um definitely read over it as well uh, if there's any changes or any information that needs to be put in here, definitely please put this in here. Privacy is very huge, especially this day and age uh, where we're dealing with um, uh, mobile devices and, you know, things that can take down all our information, information is shared. Uh, definitely fill this out and, you know, tweak it to uh, something that's going to pretty much protect your business in the event that, you know, information is shared. All right. Um, after that, we're going to scroll down some more to terms of service, of course, create from template. And then you can just overview this. And if you need to make any changes in here, you can definitely do that as well within here too. And then you get down to shipping policy. So with shipping policy, there's no create from template. So how do you create a template for your shipping policy? Easy. I have a link right up here. And it's called uh, Shopify.com slash blog slash shipping dash policy. When you get to this, and I'll make sure I post this link down below in the description as well. And if it don't work, just uh, type in, you know, shipping policy template on, um, uh, on Google, and then it'll pop up. Honestly, I can click the back button See right here, custom shipping policy template. And I came right here to Shopify. It was the very first uh, one that I searched up that I researched came up when you click on it it'll take you right here so when you get in here you can scroll down and please read this information this stuff is very very useful when you get on the site 
just read through it and it'll give you just a whole breakdown of you know how you need to set things up but they say right here a shipping policy template to help uh to help you create your uh your own so you can pretty much just copy this starting from here shipping policy all the way down to about right here so we can copy that go in here paste it here now once you do that you have to read through each and every line in here and take out certain things that uh you know don't apply to your business and or certain instructions that are in here that are not meant to be you know in your shipping policy all right just like it says right here summarize your return policy here and link out and link out to your full uh return policy page if you have one so that we don't need that we can highlight that and delete that so certain things in here you are not going to need because it's more of instructions on telling you how to uh how to properly fill this out and then other things like it says all orders are processed within x to x days so if you're doing custom printing you can be like hey you know all orders are processed in between one two uh let's say seven business days uh seven business days depending depending on the order size so you can easily add stuff in here delete stuff so yes definitely make sure you add that shipping policy to your website so that way your customers uh can be able to understand you know how long it should take for them to not just receive their items well yeah <laughs> to receive their items in the event that you know they place an order and or any other thing that could possibly be going on at that moment as stuff that's outside of control see right here include uh any include any other uh pertinent information towards the beginning such as potential delays due to a high volume of orders or postal service problems that are outside of your control so definitely be sure to add this um to your website and then once you're done with everything you got everything checked off um you read through everything make sure everything's spelled correctly and write grammar and all that stuff we come up here and click save and then boom it saved it so now we hit back and now we're back to the settings page on our screen all right so that pretty much wraps up this tutorial once again my name is angelo from cosmo sync be sure you hit that subscribe button down below that way you all will be notified every time i post new videos after you do that, be sure to join our Facebook group, Sublimation Cove, where you can learn about sublimation. Be sure to hit that link down below in the description. It'll take you right to the group on Facebook. And after that, be sure to check out our store, our store, Cosmos Inc., where you can get all the sublimation ink or pigment ink that you may need for your projects. All right. So I will see you all in the very next video. Angelo out.